Intermittent fasting has become extremely popular nowadays. Have you ever given it a try? It essentially involves following a specific eating schedule based on time intervals. If you're contemplating trying it out, there are a few important factors to consider beforehand. Let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of intermittent fasting that you should be aware of. Are you someone who often experiencing persistent hunger? Do you frequently feel fatigue and burn out? Furthermore, is there substantial research available to substantiate its claimed benefits? On the other hand, what are the positive aspects of intermittent fasting? We'll delve into all of these questions and more in our conversation. First good effects is reduced risk of diabetes. One of the positive aspects of intermittent fasting is its potential to help stabilize blood sugar levels. By following a restricted eating schedule, it has been observed that individuals at risk of type 2 diabetes may experience regulation in their blood glucose levels. Additionally, Fasting might aid in improving insulin processing as insulin resistance is a common precursor to diabetes. Therefore, if you are concerned about diabetes, intermittent fasting could be worth considering as a potential intervention. However, if you already have diabetes, it is advisable to steer clear of intermittent fasting without consulting a healthcare professional. Bad Effect Intermittent Fasting Makes You Hungry One notable downside of intermittent fasting is the increased sensation of hunger that often accompanies it. Since you're reducing your calorie intake and adhering to specific eating schedules, it's common to feel a persistent emptiness in your stomach. Managing this constant need for food can be a significant challenge. One strategy to mitigate hunger is to ensure you're consuming an adequate amount of protein. Protein has been shown to reduce appetite and control hunger, making you feel fuller even when you're consuming fewer calories overall. It's important to note that the approach to managing hunger may vary depending on a specific type of intermittent fasting diet you're following. Different methods may require different strategies for discipline and self-control. Good effect! You can lose weight! When implemented correctly, intermittent fasting has been shown to have significant effects on weight loss. By reducing the number of meals you consume, you naturally decrease your overall calorie intake. Intermittent fasting also affects hormones related to weight loss, leading to enhanced metabolic rates. Short-term fasting can increase your metabolic rate by up to 14%, resulting in the burning of more calories. Studies have indicated that intermittent fasting can lead to nearly 10% weight loss within 24 weeks, and it also associated with a reduction in weight circumference, indicating a loss of belly fat. This is certainly a positive aspect of intermittent fasting. Additionally, if you're concerned about losing muscle mass, intermittent fasting may be a preferable approach. Simply starving yourself and depriving your body of calories can lead to significant muscle loss, which is not the case with a properly executed intermittent fasting regimen. Bad effect, you're going to feel tired. One notable drawback of intermittent fasting is the potential for increased fatigue, especially when engaging in physical activity with a limited eating window. If you work out early in the morning but delay your first meal until noon or later, your exercise performance may be negatively impacted. It is generally not recommended to work out on an empty stomach as you may have less energy available due to the reduced food intake during fasting periods. This can lead to increased fatigue and heightened stress levels throughout the day, potentially resulting in irritability. It's important to note that extreme fatigue is often experienced when starting a fasting regimen as your body adjusts to dietary changes. However, if you continue to feel excessively fatigued even after a few weeks, it may be necessary to reassess your fasting method and consider adjustments to better suit your energy needs. Good effects It makes you look younger. As we age, the aging process becomes inevitable for all of us. However, intermittent fasting has shown potential in slowing down this process. One way it achieved this is by reducing oxidative stress in the body. Oxidative stress occurs naturally when free radicals come into contact with our DNA and proteins, causing damage. When intermittent fasting is practiced correctly, it can lead to a reduction in the consumption of foods that can harm the skin, such as those containing refined sugar and dairy products. By avoiding fast food and adhering to a specific eating window, you can make healthier food choices, incorporating more nutrient-rich options like fruits and vegetables. These foods are rich in antioxidants oxidants which can combat the harmful effects of free radicals. Additionally, studies have suggested that intermittent fasting may help combat inflammation in the body which is also crucial for maintaining healthy skin. While intermittent fasting may seem like an appealing concept, putting into practice can be quite challenging. The key aspect of this approach is adhering to a strict eating schedule which requires commitment and discipline. However, 
Various factors can easily disrupt the schedule, such as social invitation from friends to dine out, which can be hard to resist. <laughs> Additionally, not everyone finds it easy to adapt to eating without specific time frames. At least, for example, often prefer consuming a substantial meal in the morning before their training sessions, which may not align well with intermittent fasting protocols. The pressure to stay on schedule can be overwhelming and may even cause frustration. <laughs> On another note, if you're looking to improve your physical fitness, it's essential to complement your dietary changes with appropriate exercises. Good effect, it reduces chances of heart disease. One notable benefit of intermittent fasting is its potential to reduce the risk of heart disease. Heart disease is a leading cause of death in the United States, claiming the lives of nearly 700,000 individuals each year. Intermittent fasting has been shown to improve blood pressure and cholesterol levels, contributing to better heart health. This improvement can be attributed to the increased mindfulness in care and food choices that often accompany intermittent fasting. Ideally, during the fasting periods, individuals focus on consuming more vegetables and making smarter nutrient choices which can further support cardiovascular health. By being more intentional with their diet, individuals may experience positive changes in their blood pressure and cholesterol levels, ultimately reducing the risk of heart disease. Bad effects, it will give you low blood sugar. It's crucial to reiterate that individuals with diabetes should exercise caution when considering intermittent fasting. Skipping meals can potentially lead to hypoglycemia, a condition characterized by low blood sugar levels. Symptoms of hypoglycemia include dizziness, shaking, blurred vision, sweating, confusion, and intense hunger. It's important to know that even individuals without diabetes can experience the effects of hypoglycemia when fasting. Additionally, individuals with thyroid disease, which affects hormone production in the body, may also be more vulnerable to the adverse effects of fasting. If you have concerns about your health and are considering a fasting diet, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional or doctor to ensure it is safe and suitable for your specific circumstances. Good fact, it could reduce cancer. There is emerging evidence suggesting that fasting may have potential benefits in preventing certain types of cancers. One possible mechanism is related to the body's ability to metabolize nutrients more efficiently during fasting periods. However, it is important to note that further research is required to fully understand and establish the relationship between fasting and cancer prevention. Current studies conducted on animals have shown a reduced risk of cancer symptoms when they follow a specific eating window during the day. Moreover, some human studies have indicated that intermittent fasting could potentially aid in reducing the side effects of chemotherapy. While these findings are promising, it is crucial to await more extensive research to gain a clear understanding of the role of fasting in cancer prevention and its potential benefits during cancer treatments such as chemotherapy. Good effect! Fasting may help your brain! Intermittent fasting has been linked to potential improvements in cognitive function. As discussed earlier, the reduction in oxidative stress that occurs during fasting can have positive effects on the brain. Additionally, fasting may contribute to reduce inflammation in more stable blood sugar levels, both of which can influence cognitive health. Fasting has also been shown to increase the production of certain hormones in the brain that are associated with proper brain function. One such hormone is brain-derived neurotrophic factor or BDNF, which plays a role in promoting the growth and maintenance of neurons. Low levels of BDNF have been associated with an increased risk of depression. Therefore, by potentially increasing BDNF levels, intermittent fasting may have a positive impact on mental well-being and cognitive function. The last bad effect Research is minimal. It is important to acknowledge that there's limited research on the long-term benefits of fasting and it can be challenging to navigate the abundance of information available in different diets, including intermittent fasting. While there are studies that suggest positive effects on intermittent fasting, as discussed earlier, the overall consensus among experts is that intermittent fasting can be an effective dietary approach but it may not be the most effective or suitable for everyone. Individual experiences and responses to fasting may vary and it may be necessary for individuals to try it out themselves to determine if it works for them. It's worth emphasizing that maintaining a healthy diet is crucial, especially during periods when staying indoors and limited physical activity are necessary. Prioritizing good nutrition becomes even more important in such circumstances. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.